Hey guys, so welcome to Wild and Basic. I changed the setup a little bit. I am laying on the ground. Well, on my carpet and behind this. I feel like it would be perfect if there was a sign right here. I'm thinking about that. I don't know. There's still some time left in my lease. But I'm like, I don't know if I should get a new furniture or more new things. Because I'm like, I need to figure that out. Anyways, not the, not the point. Uh, before we get started... Let me just say, today, no, I think a couple days ago, I finally realized that I'm like, oh, I live in Florida. I think it didn't hit me for many, many months because I live in like very urban area of Florida, so I don't necessarily have to think about so many things that's essentially related with Florida or kind of like comes across as like the whole part of living in Florida. But... <laughs> Like today, again, I was just working in the other room and I heard this scratching sound. And if you have seen my stories, that you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it, there was this big lizard on my balcony. And the thing is, I'm actually, I say big lizard because I don't know if it is a lizard or iguana. Because it's kind of in between. Like, because for a lizard, it's kind of big. But for iguana, it's kind of like not that older looking you know like iguanas look kind of weird in a crazy way they kind of look like a sultan like turkish sultan or turkey sultan like something like that you know like they kind of look weird so it's kind of in between it's definitely camouflage because it blends in so well with my tr with this palm tree across from my balcony it would be so kind of crazy if we walked down there i'll be fo so fucking scared uh yeah it is super scary very very scary because I have this glass. <laughs> Thank God, like I didn't open my uh, balcony door because if I God for sake I opened it and it was the time that he was coming in, he would have totally came into my apartment because that's the only thing that separates my apartment. It's this glass door to the balcony. Pretty scary. <laughs> I mean, it, this is such a normal thing, I guess, in Florida, but it's just like it's a pretty big one. It was a. Uh, truly an experience and I pepper sprayed it the first time this is like the second time it's coming while I was I have been here so I am quite frankly scared I'm just so tempted to just like get a stick and try to trick him to like push him over the ledge and die I just I think the biggest scare I was is that like I'm like I hope it doesn't end up on a <laughs> car because that's like a highway <laughs> imagine it's like all of a sudden there's like a <laughs> lizard iguana just drops in your windshield you're like oops sorry about that <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> this is so off topic but i was just trying to tell you guys like if you are ever moving to miami i mean florida overall this is normal like prepare yourself for this like i have always been prepared because i feel like even when i was walking i've seen a couple lizards i've seen like a couple iguanas but like you know out in the wild while you're walking or like chickens you know it's very normal like you would see sometimes chickens in the like downtown area which is kind of weird i'm just not used to that but the fact that you're seeing this on my building like in my balcony something just does not register in my brain <sighs> anyways that's, yeah, today, needless to say, it has been a whirlwind of emotions. Now, um, yeah, let's talk about today's topic. Today's episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. Liquid IV is a category-winning hydration brand fueling your well-being. And their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. In just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning, before a workout, or when you just feel run down, after a long night out, especially after like a lot of alcohol intake, and also on just long flights. I love that it comes in individual packets so you can take it wherever with you and easily just mix it in your water. I keep one in my car, well actually a couple in my car, one in my backpack, one in my like travel bag so I never run out. Liquid IV partners with leading organizations for innovative solutions to help communities to protect both their water and their futures. To this date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. 
Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code WB at checkout. That is 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code WB at liquidiv.com. So today we are talking about friendships and I have definitely talked about this before sometime, I don't remember when, but today specifically I want to talk about how friendships grow apart i think this is a topic that i think it's definitely like a serious serious topic especially for people in their 20s or like even their 30s it's just something we all go through uh various stages of our lives i just think it's sometimes much bigger deal because sometimes some friendships grow apart intentionally like you both kind of like not putting the effort but sometimes it just becomes like it grows apart unintentionally like you don't even realize it but all of a sudden like one day you look back or like you think of that person and you're like I don't know what happened or like what's going on and I think that's what makes it sad sometimes because I think there are times that like you have shared so much with that person or that person have I don't know, like there were like so many memories with that person. Um, that person in was in your life quite a bit. Then all of a sudden just like disappeared. Uh, I know this is such a cliche thing to say, but that's why like I think that one song from Selena Gomez, this was like a while ago, I think, uh, from her album. I think it was, I don't think it was in Revolve era, I think. Uh, it's called People You Know. Like, you know, how you like, and she says like, uh, people go from people you know to people you don't. And that's literally kind of like what I experienced with like, not just with friends, but like with a bunch of other things too, romantically as well. But I think with friendships, it's kind of like different experience. And I want to share why this happens sometimes. I think the biggest thing is, the first one I would mention is definitely the distance. As much as we say it, and I just want to put this out there, this doesn't necessarily apply to everyone, but it's just something that it's given. It's not just even with friendship, it's romantic relationships too. Whenever there's a long distance or distance is involved, like you guys are in two different places, even like two different cities, or like even a couple hours away, honestly, uh, sometimes this puts a toll on your friendship and uh, what happens is like I think it becomes like almost like a job that you both have to contribute to like make an effort to hang out all the time or hang out like once in a while because what happens is like if you don't hang out that distance physical distance also <laughs> affects your like this it becomes also a distance in your relationship because physical distance is one thing but like then once you have that kind of distance between a person like that distance sets grows you apart every single day it's like every single day that relationship starts fading more and more away and one day it's just like you don't even feel like that is even that friendship or that is that kind of relationship you had and I think distance definitely causes a lot I think I would say this from my own experience that like not just with like friendships I have made here but I think overall there are with some people I am that kind of person too like you know when they say like out of sight out of mind I am usually great with my family and that's still hard to keep up because I have always been away from my family like yeah there have been like times that I have lived together with them but most of the time it's been like not together with them so I'm so used to keeping in touch with my family but I think when it comes to friendships it's a lot harder for me I think it's also because on top of it that because I have social media I already share so much Sometimes I forget to keep in touch with my friends or just talk to my friends and be like what's going on because I think I automatically assume Not just assume but like I think same as French friends too is that like they watch my stories or they do they like what I'm Posting and I like what they're posting. I feel like 
that's kind of my way of saying that I appreciate you but that's kind of it because I don't know I just feel like I am so bad at keeping the keeping in touch and I think uh, that's why I say it. only people that I keep in touch even through the distance are my family or like super and I mean super close people and that's like only two other person outside of my family the rest of them I just don't know if I would be able to keep that kind of keep that keep in touch honestly for an extended period of time that's one thing other thing I would say because the first one was I was a distance other thing is that just like life changes this is again very difficult but I think it's something we should expect too and I, nece I don't necessarily get upset over it but I think it's almost kind of like mourning a loss I know sometimes as much as we say it doesn't change things whenever if our friends get married or is suddenly in a relationship or I don't know make new friends or new group new friend group um, I don't know or like changes a job like there are other things that that could happen or like they have something going on with their family and they have to like uh, take care of their family or something, you know, there could be many other things but from my experience that most of the time you have to give uh, What is it like give kind of some space to that friend because they're clearly going through something but from also what I have experienced that like Not everything that I'm saying from this example, but something like in a relationship if some some friend is just started being in a relationship or even just got married I know things change because the thing is for most people I know that it's not going to be the same it's not going to be the same like we would go out together or we would do things together like I know it's just not going to be the same dynamic is going to be different but I still expect to have that bond with that person but I realize over time that sometimes that might also means that it's it's either end of the friendship or it's just end of that era and I learned that <laughs> like with a bunch of other people like one of my friends we weren't necessarily like close friends but we would be people that like hang out occasionally we would do work together she's also a content creator we would do things but I think what happens like after she got married things changed for her and I knew that it was gonna change overall because obviously she now has a husband like she has things to think about but there were many times that we had we, we had like plans and like she either never followed up or she said yes but like last minute things changed and this just kept happening once or twice and I never did it again because I just knew where this was going and I didn't want to um, I didn't want the friendship to go into the place that we have to like cut ties completely I was just like I just don't think this is working so I kind of let it go or in other aspect which is something I have done in the past and I'm guilty of that but I learned from this I would say it when I first started being in a relationship like the serious one with my ex I definitely neglected my friends even some part of my family honestly I just like I didn't realize it at the time because I think at the time relationship was so important to me and I was like oh I want to give it my all I want to try my best and I feel like this is gonna be really good and like I just saw potential with it and I just also because I think I never had this long distant long term relationship I think almost all other relationship I had was like longest ones was maybe like six months so that's why I was like oh there's like big potential in this one but what I realized at the time that I was like oh I'm neglecting my friends and everything and some of this similar thing is happening to me you might say it's like karma I say like it's life I guess some of my friends are doing that to me and I don't see this as a bad thing bad way for me because I'm like I understand it but I just know what happens at the end uh, because once you start being in a relationship what happens is like unless that's such a healthy relationship if it's a healthy relationship most of the time your partner will allow you to hang out with your friend and do things with your friend but sometimes if it is a controlling partner or whatever 
you end up not being able to do that or if you have to, if you want to hang out with your friend you have to hang out with your partner or with your partner's friends as well so it's like a big group of friends to hang out so it's not the same dynamic another example I would mention <laughs> and this is this hasn't happened actually with a friend but this happened with my older sister I ever since she moved away to like to the south and also she has another child now I think our communication has gone a lot less and I just see that like there's this big space in between us and I just knew that this was gonna happen, honestly. I'm not necessarily surprised. Um, at the end of the day, obviously she's still my sister, but I just know that happened. And I, I, I can already predict what the future is going to be, but I can already see that how something like this could happen with one of my friends as well. That's what I'm saying. I think friendships is a lot of work. It really is. Just like any relationship, you definitely have to show up and commit to it. But yeah, that's the second part I'm saying like life changes could take a toll and change your friendship overall. Number three is I think your interest. I think what happens is this is like some friendships are made within the interest of something. Like at the time maybe you had a hobby or you were doing something and like that's what put you guys together and like you guys got connected. But what happens is like sometimes either that interest is no longer your friend's interest or your interest. People change, right? Like people, they're like, I don't want to do this anymore or that interest ends. Like there are many occasions I remember is like there are some friends that I became friends with is because like I was taking like, I don't know, like dance classes or I was in college, you know, like we were taking the same classes. Like that's why we were friends. But after that class ended, things became like, you know, we started not doing things together and all of a sudden that friendship kind of dissolved itself. It's, this reminds me like almost like a, making an LLC. If you know anything about like creating a business, when you set up your LLC, after a while, I guess like if you are tired of the business or you just don't think it's working out, you can easily dissolve it. <laughs> this is kind of like what it feels like. Just friendship itself just dissolves very naturally. It's just, just, there's not, no, nothing else left at the end of the day. It's, it's just truly sad, it really is. But I think because it has happened so many stages of my life and also because I have moved so much like in my life. Yes, at the end of the day, my base has been always New York, but I have moved around a bunch of times for school, for other projects. So I, I have kind of gotten used to the fact that like after I move, things are going to change and friendships might end or it might still stay, we might be still social, like friends on social media, like I knew that. So I'm saying that definitely interest uh, makes a big deal, like big impact on like making friends and many changes that works out or sometimes doesn't work out. And another one is like if their lifestyle changes and this is like I think the biggest part because what happens, I think, when we first meet a fr uh, make a friend, we don't necessarily know all about them. As much as we say, like, we know the person a lot, but, like, it's so hard to know the person until that person shows all of their layers. And people don't show their layers that quickly. I mean, some people maybe do, but I don't. Like, I think for me to be completely open with someone, it would probably take me like a year or two. I feel like for a year, that first year, I don't think you know me at all. Like you know some, some things about me, but you just don't know me. So I just feel like once you started to see them and start to see what they do, maybe you start to be like, actually like, I don't know if this is the person that I want to hang out with, or I just don't know if this is something I want to do. Because I think, I realize this now and I don't say this in a bad way at all because things are different, people are different, everybody has their own things that they want to do. When I first got here, because I think I was new, right, I didn't know many people in Miami, I was kind of open to many things and that's why I kind of yes, I actually not kind of, I said yes to almost everything 
that people told me, asked me. They were like, do you want to do this? I'd be like, yes. Do you want to do this? I'd be like, yes. Because I just wanted to explore. I wanted to meet people. Uh, I wanted to try things. I wanted to get to know the place. Hence, I said yes to many things. Not necessarily because I wanted to do those things, but I just wanted to meet as many people as possible, but also I wanted to explore as much as possible. But I think after that honeymoon or <laughs> that period passed away, I just realized some things that I did at the time, at that time, wasn't necessarily something that I wanted to do. Uh, like, this is gonna sound absolutely horrible, but, and I don't wanna generalize it because people say this about Miami all the time. I'm just saying it's not exactly like Miami that's all this is for, but it's essentially kind of is in a way. Miami is a party town. Yes, there are more things that you could do in Miami. Like, there are so many other activities you can do. But, for the most part, from my experience, again, like, I'm from New York, so I, I am not a native my, person who lives in Miami. Like, I am not native. So, don't come for me. But I'm just saying, from my experience so far, uh, being here so far, I, I just noticed that that's mostly it's a party town. I also realized though, maybe this is a gay crowd, I'm not the person that like, that don't want to go out, but I'm also not the person that that wants to go out every weekend. That's just not me. Because let me put this into perspective is that I am self-employed. I don't have an employer. So there are many times that I have to work. I almost always have something to do, almost any given day. I could be working on a Sunday or I could be working on a Saturday. So I'm just saying, I, I, like there's always something for me to do. So I cannot necessarily take Friday through Sunday like a marathon and go out every weekend. There's nothing wrong with people who are doing that, but I just that's not something I could do. I did that a few times when I first moved here or in the beginning of the stages but I just realized like that took that definitely took a toll on my body I did not like it I did not like myself doing it I think only thing I would want to do at one point would be like just like hang out once in a while there's an occasion or if I want to do it but nothing something on the regular regular basis that's not for me but I just realized there are a lot of people who are like that or maybe just because I'm gay and like that's what the gay community is in Miami I'm not 100% sure but it just seems like that is kind of the crowd and <laughs> nothing wrong with that because everybody does their own thing you do your own thing that's just not me but I just realized that's kind of like a lot of people who are doing the same thing here and that's why kind of I feel like I am starting to distance myself from that crowd uh, it's just not necessarily like I, I think I would support them like do their own thing But I just I don't want to have like a toxic I just don't want to have a bad relationship when it comes to alcohol Because I have nothing like I never had a substance issue in my life, but I just Like I, I want to I don't want to hate alcohol like I want to drink once in a while like just have fun but I don't want to get I don't want it to get to a point that whenever there there's a slight problem in my life I have to reach for alcohol because that's just not good and I just feel like because there's just so much temptation uh, in Miami for that and I feel like that could not just me but I feel like that could affect so many people like when it comes to drugs alcohol like many other things I don't want to diverge too much into this topic because this episode is not about Miami but I just want to say it from that experience that like when I saw that part of it I just realized like oh that's not what I want to be what I want to be doing but also those are not the people I want to hang out with it's good to meet the, like people like again that's what I'm saying when you're new in town you meet everyone you're open to everything but over time <laughs> you know things grow apart and I realized like that's again not a bad thing and one thing I have learned from all of this that I'm saying and maybe this comes from like living by yourself or being with yourself or like maybe being self-employed 
people come and go, right? And also what I realized is I'm just so happy with being by myself. Like, it's just, I just, I don't know, I have my own peace. Like, it's so peaceful. Like, if one day, like, like if I don't have friends to come out, I mean, come here and like watch a movie with me, it's fine. I can watch a movie by myself. Or if uh, some days like something got canceled, like we're not hanging out, trust, <laughs> trust me, I will not be upset. Nine out of 10, I am always counting the fact that like, I hope something gets canceled because I don't want to come out. I'm just saying nine out of 10, I don't care. And there's one more related friendship that has happened uh, along the way and she doesn't live here. She lives like, I think Palm Beach area or something distance like I just can't do it like I cannot I feel like I understand like there are a lot of people here who drive to far places hang out I just cannot see myself doing that all the time uh, I, that's what I'm saying I feel like friendships are such a commitment maybe I have commitment issues I don't know but I just feel like it is a lot of work and I only put a lot of work into things that I feel like that is worth my time and that's worthwhile and I feel like some things they're just not so um, most of the days most of the time when some things get cancelled I'm like I'm totally fine with it like I'm not gonna be that person that would be upset or I don't know like annoyed I think only time I get annoyed is like if there's a plan and something uh, something didn't follow through through that plan happens things change but that's what I'm saying. There are a lot of disagreements that could end the friendship. But from what I was trying to come up from the top that I think if people's lifestyle changes and if their lifestyle doesn't match with your lifestyle, um, things people grow apart and that is totally normal. And I think I noticed that when I was in my in New York anyways, like I knew that because I have a different lifestyle and that's one reason I think sometimes <sighs> it's easier for me to hang out with people who have somewhat similar lifestyle as me but sometimes it's just hard to find that like you know what i mean it's just so difficult that's why i feel like you have friends for different reasons not every friend is going to be your close friend or you're going to be best friends you know like every friend is like you're gonna be in like, different categories I, I i one thing i have heard not just like like recently but like all the time so like you have friends for various purposes you have friends that you want to talk to you have friends that you want to go out with and you have friends that like I don't know like you go to the gym you do like casual things with like you have friends for different purposes there is not like one friend that you can do it all there could be some exceptions but usually not like there are always people friends that like for different reasons and that's something i realized that and one last thing i would add is friend groups i think someone definitely talked about this in very recent episodes in one of the podcasts i saw i think i at this part i i'm still learning and i'm still discovering it like i don't have much to say but i'm just gonna say from my first hand experience friend groups are hard usually Last time I had a friend group, I think I was in college. That's the last time I had like a big friend group. And we had multiple chats and like group chats. That was the last time. Uh, because in New York, everyone is kind of like their individual self. And you make friends with individual people. Ever since I got here, I, it just starts to seem like I am becoming, I am in a part of this group. I am still learning to understand the dynamic and to figure it out but from what I can see also that like that could also sometimes grow apart because I think even I remember from college too is like most friend groups there's just no way all that like let's just say 10 people are in the same group there's just no way that like all 10 of them they like each other or that they are like best friends with each other I assure you, if there's 10 people in that group, or 10 people who are friends, there's a chance that like, maybe two, three of them are like, they're very close. 
rest of them they kind of talk to each other and there's probably one person that never talks or like never responds in the group chat like there's always things that like I feel like there's like a, some sort of a dynamic it's never like everybody likes each other everybody wants to hang out everybody wants to do things that's why I feel like friend groups are so much work. I feel like it's way more work than like having an individual friend. That's why I'm like, I don't know enough about it yet because it's kind of like I am retouching bases with what I have experienced in the past in college. But I would just wanted to put that out there as well that like uh, growing apart, friendships growing apart can also happen in the friend group as well. You could be growing apart in that group as well and that's okay because we change i think that's one thing i am learning so much and nothing oh nothing always disappoints me anyways but i also i overthink all the time so nothing surprises me but i just realized that like people change you change uh it's just impossible to be like oh like i'm gonna be your friend forever it's just so hard to make that promise you only learn as time goes by and like you discover if that person is meant to stay in your life you know like you just learn as you go but that's what i wanted to share today <laughs> it was definitely a different topic than i expected but i just wanted to put it out there and i hope you guys like this episode if you do please don't forget to rate us on apple Podcasts and spotify and i can't wait to see you guys next week Bye.